How's everyone doing? Can you hear me? Everything sounds good! <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, thank you, Agubalus Goss, for becoming a member for two months. Thank you to Adele Darkstar for becoming a member. Jim B for becoming a member. Thank you so much for joining the Butter Cookie Tin. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sounding good as usual. That's good. Hello, how's everyone doing? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Yes. It's been a day since I've seen you guys. Or two. <laughs> It's been exactly two days. Yes, exactly two days since I've seen you guys last on, on YouTube. Hello! Uh, thank you for the five gift membership, Super Iron Bob. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you! <laughs> Make sure you thank Super Iron Bob if you got a membership today. Hello, hello. You're gonna do a door dash. That's very... That's very fancy of you. That's very fancy of you. I can't afford... I can't afford DoorDash these days, personally. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's pretty cool that you guys can still afford it. Um, uh, let's see. It's really... A DoorDash? Yeah, it's like a food delivery service. It's very, very, very expensive to get. <laughs> In my opinion. Mm -mm. All right, let me turn on my RGB hair. <laughs> the special effects of my hair. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am good. I am very good. Thank you for asking. I am kind of well rested. I couldn't get that much sleep last night. To be honest, like I couldn't sleep until like 6 a.m. because of my... Uh, occasional insomnia, so sadly I didn't get much rest, but it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna just relax and and drop it, yeah. So today we're gonna use a couple of things, we're gonna do a couple of things, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, insomnia woes! Hello, hello! Hello, hello, I love spending time with the little old star lady! Thank you, I love spending time with you as well! Mm. It happens to you too. Pipkin likes to show up once in a while. It wasn't really like men hair reasons or like stuff like that. I wasn't overthinking. I just couldn't go to sleep. So I started reading fan fiction until like three, and then I stopped and I tried to go to bed, and I couldn't go to bed. <laughs> I answered Maros in bed. I was like, oh, waiting for myself to get tired, but. Yeah. How about yesterday Minecraft? Uh, I gave up. I lost all my gold that I mined for. And then I just quit. <laughs> I kept dying! <laughs> People were already griefing me. Mm -mm. Good fanfiction or spicy fanfiction? Why can't it be both? Why is it... Why is it not or and? It was or and. It was or and. Mm -mm. She knows has such a bright voice appropriate for someone with stars in their hair, though. Thank you for... <laughs> I hope it's a good thing. I hope that's a good thing. Hello, the Black Wolf. I'm new here. I was just passing by to meet you. My name is Black Wolf. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my stream. Ah, uh, fair point. <laughs> oh, yeah, the grief worked even though you weren't streaming, right? Yeah, I mean, as long as you donate while I'm in and the mod was on... Yeah, I would still get griefed by your dono, so... <laughs> yeah... Mm, I'm not gonna talk to you about this fan fiction. What I read in my private time is my... Is this old lady's little business, okay? <laughs> is this old lady's little business? Mm, question, thoughts on that character AI website? I uh, think it's pretty cool. I don't want to get into it. I use it to... Sort of, um, generate ideas for compositions and stuff. But it, the compositions that it makes pretty, like... It's pretty soulless right now. Hmm. Until Leah and Iori bully you into doing a stream on it. Doing a stream on what? Minecraft? I already did that. Hmm. On fanfiction? I don't know, man. I don't want to, like, ruin my public image by talking about the stuff that I read in private. 
<laughs> I feel like there's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place. If it's the correct time and place, then yes, I'll talk about it. But I don't. I don't know. I don't feel like talking about that today. It's a little too embarrassing. Mm -mm -mm. It's an interesting tool for reference. To be fair, AI anatomy. It's a crapshoot. Like it gets it right. I'd say like 60% of the time. And even then the hands and like arms and feet are all fucked up. Like yeah. Mm. I have not written fanfics myself. Someone asked me if I have written any fanfics myself. The answer is no, I've never written my own fanfiction. I'm not much of a creative writer. Mm. I'm not much of a creative writer. Um, and sometimes it gives you a third leg. Always, yeah, it gives... It likes giving me a third leg in particular. And it likes me... It likes making me too lolly. <laughs> like, way too lolly. <laughs> like, like, I look five years old. I put small bust. Not flat bust, okay? I said small bust. And for some reason... It's like, okay, you're like a toddler now. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> it likes that so much. I'm like somewhere in between. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's a bit too late for your image. <laughs> What's the difference? Wait, like there's like different, different proportions of lollies, I think. Like... Like, there's ones... Like, I'm in, like, the normal... I feel like I can be considered... Lolly. Especially in anime. Especially. Um, but... No! There's, like... There's also, like, lollies that are even more lolly. Like, there's there's a scale. It's like a spectrum, right? It's a spectrum! <laughs> it's a spectrum! But it likes putting me in the, like, the tiny five-year-old, the toddler spectrum. And I was like, why is it making me look like a toddler? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there is like a, a spectrum. Yes, yes. Mm. Proportions are important. So I'm not here to argue the definitions of lolly. I have... I don't really care what you think it is. You can call me that. You cannot call me that. You can agree or disagree on the meaning. But I will not have that discussion here because I legit don't give a single crap about it. <laughs> There's too many definitions. English language is... is complicated. And especially words that come from other... Um, places and cultures, they can mean different things, right? So, I don't really want to have this discussion in chat. Mm. Yeah, what it matters is how cute something is. Okay, that's all that uh, that's all I care about. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Depends on who you talk to. So, I don't want to argue with you. You can believe what you want. It is what it is. But yeah, in anime terms. It can mean a lot of things. Mm. Okay, so... <laughs> cute is cute. Exactly, exactly. I don't care what what name you give it. <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna do some... Um, not a furry... I think it's... A, I'm like the farthest from a furry out of everyone in uh, my gen. I'm not an animal. Rie and I are not animals. Rie is a human princess who likes to fuck robots, she says. And I like BL. So which one of us is more human? <laughs> so which one of us is more human? I can't really tell. Yeah. Anyways, tough choice, tough choice, tough choice. Gotta go have dinner with the family. Just wanted to stop by. Alright, have a nice dinner with the family. No wonder she gets along with Ari now. Hmm, makes you think, doesn't it? Makes you think. So what's the post study? Okay, so, sorry, I've been talking. 
So we're using a different program today. I am using Rebel 5 Pro, if you guys noticed. It's on sale for $10 right now. So if you guys have a tablet and are interested in a... Uh, they say this painting like like a painting simulation program like a real life medium simulation program this is one of the best out there so if you guys want that go ahead and buy it now it's on sale for another couple days and for three more days <laughs> for three more days i think so it's like ten dollars yeah, it's Bob Ross Simulator, pretty much. It has like charcoal and stuff too. It does a pretty good job. I, I test a little bit, but this is like my first like day with it. I just bought it this morning, so <laughs> I, you just bought it already. Um, so um, yeah, it's it's a little fancy, but it's only ten dollars, so it costs a lot less than my CSP did. Um, yeah, it's like 90% off, so if you guys want it, it's $10, go buy it now. It'll be the time to buy it. It's its 10-year anniversary. Will it make happy little accidents? It's hard to do that with a, with a creative, like a, like a digital medium, because you can always, uh, go back. <laughs> Have you ever tried traditional painting? Yes, I have. Uh, before I was an anime artist, I apprenticed under a watercolor master for several years. So I was a fine arts sort of painter before. I didn't draw anime um, as my primary thing before. So <laughs> why do you have ketchup? It's my beverage of choice. <laughs> You can always tell who watched my debut and who didn't By who asked why the ketchup is there If you haven't seen my debut, I highly recommend it It gives a great intro to me as to who I am and my lore Yes mm. Yes, yes Yes mm, A master, yes, a watercolorist master mm. Mm. He's a Japanese watercolorist master I don't want to dox myself so I won't say his name but it was an honor to apprentice under him for several years. Mm -hmm. He was a very nice teacher. Very nice. Mm. Um, <laughs> I drew superheroes too. Yes, I did. I did. I did a lot of stuff. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it was for a brief time. I wanted to be a American comic book artist. So I did some of that too. Mm. I really like Jim Lee's art quite a lot. Um, I like his backstory too, how he was a medical student and then kind of gave that up to give himself a year to learn how to draw and become a famous artist and he did it. I feel like it's a super inspirational story. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So there's an artist that I really, really respect that passed away. Quite suddenly. Quite suddenly. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm really sad because he was a legend. Nobody could do what he did. Nobody drew... Like, people don't draw like he does, you know? Like, that's not something normal people can do. He was like a genius. Yeah. The Korean artist. Yeah. I've been watching him for over 20 years. <laughs> so, it's been... It's been really sad. I don't want to think about it today That I won't see anything new from him Like, for the rest of my lifetime And that like, really hurts me, so... Yeah <laughs> Really hurts mm. Um... Jim Lee was a legend in his time Jim Lee is still a legend, right? <laughs> He's still a legend! Is he not doing comic books anymore? Okay, because, okay Somebody Somebody asked me what I thought of the American comic book industry I think they need new IPs I think they're beating a dead horse I think they keep refreshing who is these superheroes I don't like that uh, You know, Peter Parker will always be the Spider-Man of my heart I don't like how there's all these new Spider-Mans 
Um, I just don't get it, you know, because people attach emotions to the characters that they grew up with. If you keep changing those characters, I feel like you're watering your franchise down a little bit and it becomes really, 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 really confusing. There's too many plot holes, too many universes. It's not easy to get into. Um, it's a mess. They need new IPs. You know, if they want to be like... Just make new superheroes! Nobody asked for 37 different Spider-Mans, you know? Hmm... Yeah... There's too many iterations of the same character. I think that's very confusing. I think that's why the American comic book industry is... Really struggling to get a hold in the face of... Asian comics becoming more front and center these days. Hmm... Yeah... So... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah... Hmm... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just think it's too messy. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, um, like there weren't cool stuff. There were definitely cool stuff in the crazy stuff, but I don't think that they should beat a dead horse. They should make new stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just too hard to get into. Hmm... Uh, let's see... What we learning today? We're learning poses, but everybody keeps asking for my opinion about different comic books and stuff, so... I'm just... Always giving my opinion. <laughs> giving my opinion. Poses! So... Today, we will use a website that is linked below on the description called Pose Maniacs. I will have what I'm working on... Right here, up top. Um... Hold on. I'll have to pull it up here too so I can see it. So, yeah, I have what I'm working on pulled up top. You guys may follow me. I have this set at three minutes. Three minutes. So, um... <laughs> I don't know... I don't know how... Um... I don't know how long you guys want it, but since this is beginning, I thought uh, it's nice to just take some time on them and sketch out some more detail instead of just like, um, you know, going for like quick, really quick five minute, uh, five second ones. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're gonna use this website. No Jacko pose. I can't pick the poses. It's random. It's random. I'm not an artist. Expertise, but I'll learn regardless. Yes. So I'm gonna teach you guys a few beginner tips and tricks to do this. I am also a beginner. I'm not very good at this. I am very um slow <laughs> at drawing this sort of stuff, and I'm not really like great at anatomy. I use a lot of aids when I when I draw myself. So freehanding anatomy is very hard for me. Very 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 hard. Yeah, so, yeah, super fast gesture drawings are like 5 to 10 seconds, but I can't do that yet. Um, I'll teach you how to do those someday when I get good at them, so... Um, but for now, I want to teach you guys how to look at a figure and how to, like, do these things, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna restart this. This is set on a, th a two? Three minute? Is it five minute? Uh, I don't even. I don't even remember. I don't remember what I said it to, but we're gonna like take our time, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, this one's pretty hard. Let's go. Let's go find the easy one to start off of. Um, this one's a little hard too. Hold on. Hold on. I reset this so it can be a little more. Three hundred seconds is what. Five minutes? That's too much, right? Is that two minutes? Three minutes? I don't even know. <laughs> it's five minutes. We'll just do five minutes. A difficulty we'll do easy for now. Mm, we'll do easy for now. Cause cause we're we're beginning, so mm. Okay, hold on. Okay, so uh that that does not look easy. <laughs> Let's do something. Yeah, this one, this one's easy. Okay, so, uh, three hundred seconds. The sixty seconds is in a minute, so it's five minutes. It's five minutes. Okay, so when you go into a pose like this, 
There's a few things to consider. So when you're going to a pose like this... I'm gonna go ahead and use some charcoal today. And we're gonna use... Just a, a black color. Hold on. How do I move this canvas without fucking this up? Okay. Oh my god, why isn't this working? Hold on. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so when you start off with this... What I recommend is you start off with the torso. Because the torso, if you get the torso right, everything else seems to fall into place. So what if you can't draw the torso? You can't even understand. You're like super beginner. So what I would do then is to kind of imagine it just in shapes alone. Yes, never just start with the head. A lot of people start with the head. It's not great in the future. You want to start with the torso, the upper torso. Let's say you're a super beginner, you don't really understand anything yet. You're having trouble breaking this down, right? So I want you guys to think of this in squares, rectangles, and spheres, right? So starting with the torso, we're going to start with a box. She's facing the front, so I want to draw just a box. Just a normal box. And... Um... We're going to say this is where the boobs are. So we're gonna put squares here. Some circles. You can put where the nippy noppies are if you want. Don't ban me, Twitch. Uh, don't ban me, YouTube. Thank you for the five dollars super chat. The hero of uh, the hero FX work week done. Sheena streaming life is good. Welcome, 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 welcome to the butter cookies. So. Sunlie, thank you so much. Sunlie? I don't know how to pronounce you. <laughs> Your name, but thank you so much. Okay, and now for torso, you can kind of draw it in like a shape too, right? Like this shape as well for the middle of the torso. I like to think of it in triangles in the middle because that's where the rib cage is. And then for this part, you can draw a very other easy shape that's like very easy to understand. Right? And then, uh, then you can kind of go ahead and draw where the legs are as well. And for the legs, you want to be sure of where the musculature is. You want to pay attention to that. So, I like to pay attention to that while I draw. And it doesn't need to be good, right? You can... you can definitely... Just... It really doesn't need to be good. You don't need to stress out, just... Sort of get something on paper first to warm up. And then we'll work on it from there. Everybody will get better from it. Mmm. Um, let's see. Circle, a circle where the knees go, right? And then, and then we'll draw the rest of the figure. And it's okay if you can't do it in perfect strokes. You want to do it in like as least strokes as you can. Um. When you do this, you don't want to do super sketchy lines, but if you are beginning, that's kind of hard to help. So don't be so hard on yourself if you can't do it yet. That's fine if your lines are really sketchy. That's how everyone starts, so don't stress out too much. Mm. Uh, Sheena's secretly trying to teach us how to make more loot art of herself. See, now I didn't, I didn't even make it fast enough because I was talking, right? I didn't even make it fast enough. 
Because <laughs> I was talking and I can't go back, right? So that's okay. We will move on. So now I taught you like the basic process of what to do. And you don't need to erase, just move on. Just move on. Yeah. Just move on. So again, you want to start with the torso. This one's a little harder, right? But you can imagine this as like... Sort of this sort of shape. Like, uh... Like a block that goes like this instead. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can add boobies here. Make sure that they're perky and to your liking. You can attach it. And then you can... Think of this shape again. And then now, from here, you can tell there's a trapezoid area where the booty goes. So you don't want to miss that. You want to express that as well. Where the stomach is. And then now you can kind of... Now that you've got the torso, it's easier for you to put everything else. So you can put where the L... Where the... Uh, how do you say this? Shoulders go? You can put the head later. But you can put your arm here. Try to capture the curvature of those muscles. It's very important. Um, when you get really good at this, you don't even need to look at the paper much. And for fingers, you don't need to go really hard. You can just do where the fingers are supposed to go. We'll come back to it later. Detail is not important when doing this. We're just going to go ahead and make sure we get the basics in there. The whole point is for you to warm up a little bit. Just get loose with it. I don't understand what this hand is doing. I don't think I will. I don't quite get it yet, so we'll come back to it later. But now we can do the head. Which you can just use a circle for, to be honest. You don't need to give it any, like... Extra time. You'll get better at it as you go, and I'm not really good at this either. But... Yeah, you can get it down on paper, and then you can kind of make it better afterwards. So don't, don't stress. Don't stress. It's gonna look bad. It's fine. You'll get better at it. I haven't done this in a while, so... And now, now that you got like kind of the basic shapes down, you can go ahead and fix it a little bit to your liking. You can go in and put more details in. You know? Yeah, you're stressing, right? Yeah, I'm stressing too. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm really, really not good at this. I used to be. I used to be better at it. But now, I'm sort of uh, struggling a lot more. And I used to. I don't do this as often anymore, so... Once you get out of practice, it's hard to get it back. And now it's changed again, right? 
And just move on. Just keep moving on. You'll get better at it. This one's really hard. We're gonna go ahead and skip this. I asked it to do easy poses, but it's doing really hard ones. This one's easier. Yeah. So you can do a smaller one too. Don't stress. This guy's a little bulkier. And kind of draw out hit where his torso goes. Um, the main shape is, is his shoulder, so I want to get his shoulder. He's kind of like a brick. He's built like a freaking brick. <laughs> He's built like a freaking brick. Yeah. You'll get better at it. It's very difficult. I'm not even gonna lie. I, this is gonna be a doozy, even for me. What do you mean, even for me? Of course, for me. I haven't done this in so long. Mm, these streams are always so relaxing. I find them a little stressful. I know you guys find them relaxing, but I know if you guys read my Maro yet that I've been struggling with some pretty bad art block. Like, my hands just won't move the way I want them to. And it's been... It's been frustrating, to say the least. Like, very, very frustrating. I'm having a time, for sure. Yeah, so I got a lot of Maros asking me about art streams. And like, I want to do more, but I'm going through this time. <laughs> and it's making it really tough for me. Yeah, I'm going through this phase. See, I can't even get this. I really should have chosen real life pictures. Those I work, I work with those a little better than I do with this. This guy's body shape is also. I'm not used to it. Hmm. Let's see... This phase connect... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh... What are you talking about? What are you going on about over there? Sorry if I can't read chat as much right now. This sort of stream is... Makes it really hard for me to... It's okay if your canvas cuts off. Just keep going. You don't need to draw the whole thing. So it's like, it's kind of satisfying when you get kind of how it looks down on paper. You can sort of... It's like, oh, it's not perfect, but it kind of looks like it. And that's really what you want. <laughs> and that's really what you want out of this as a beginner. It's just, well, I can't do it now, but I can kind of... Kind of get it. And that is... That is perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. That's all you need to get out of it. Hmm. Yeah, it is, it is scuffed. It is scuffed. The muscle is supposed to come down here. Okay, I would not like any comments on my drawings right now. It makes me really, really nervous. I know it's bad. I know it, okay? I know it's bad. I do, would not like you to comment. A hundred percent. That is not going to make this a better time for me or anyone else. Yeah. So... <laughs> Just go at your own pace, okay? <laughs> Oh. Where 
go. Okay. Um, I know creators have issue. Everybody's their own worst critic, man. Mm. Everybody's their own worst critic. A hundred percent. Okay, so this one's the same thing. The back is really interesting. The back is really interesting. Because you get to see all those muscles. They kind of work in a... Like, what I like to do with the back is I like to draw the middle part first. Like, the curvature of it. And then using that, I would place the triangle of muscles here. Because everything is sort of really... The muscles here are so big that they're pretty easy to read. And yet, I suck at drawing backs. I never really draw people from the back because... I can't do it well. Hmm... The spine line? Yeah. And it goes straight down into like a triangle part. And then you get the booty. You get the booty. <laughs> I'm also in a deep art block right now, so it's hard for me to... It's hard for me, um... In general, to do anything, to draw even, so it's been... It's been quite a tough time. It's been... How to draw? I draw stick figures and squares. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody starts somewhere. Yeah, I didn't really want to do this. I'll be honest, because I didn't want to show you guys how behind I really was in terms of like practice. Um. I'm I'm primarily a streamer these days, so I don't get as much time to draw as I used to. Yeah. Mm. Stick figures are actually really useful. They're actually super useful. I don't know why people s cause a big stink about. Oh, I can only draw stick figures. Well, you can draw something. If you can draw a stick and a circle, that's all you really need to know to start. <laughs> That's all you really need to know to start, really. Hmm. I think we're starting to get a little looser now. You could tell, you could tell, because I'm getting the shape more. A little better, a little better. And that's what you want to see, like slight improvement, right? And if you have time, you can always go put in some adjustments. I don't do this sort of stuff and I used to go to this place where there's like naked people Like absolutely naked people Standing there every weekend and I would go and make an absolute fool of myself because I was always really bad at anatomy class Like 
terrible at it. Like, absolutely just freaking terrible at it. Moving on. Okay, that's a fabulous JoJo pose right there, my friend. That's a fabulous JoJo pose. I wish you'd stop giving me men right now, though. I find these a little bit more harder to do. <laughs> oh, I find these a little bit harder to do. If I'm to be totally frank with you guys. Men are... Buff men are hard for me. They are... Very hard for me. I don't, I don't think I have enough space here. So let's do this. Oh yeah, it is Seto Kaiba summoning the blue eyes white dragon. Holy shit! But he is he he's kind of skinny though, right? He's kind of skinny. I don't think I don't think I don't think that Seto Kaiba is this fucking ripped. Or else I'd be... I'd be... It'd be over for me, guys. I would be a Seto Kaiba simp and you guys will never see me... Do anything else but simp for him. Thank you so much for the $5 super chats, guys. A trick to art block we learned in art school is to do just drawing exercises. Um, that's what they teach you, but it never worked for me. Your current sketches have a wonderful sense of weight distribution. I can tell where each pose falls so easily. Thank you for being so nice, but no. <laughs> My amateur strokes are not quite there yet. No. Haven't done this for enough times to... Really... Really, really... Again, again, we're doing the torso first, right? Wanna do the torso first, remember guys? Torso first! Very important. If you go to any just drawing class, like a new drawing class, they will always tell you. Torso first. I used to be really good at musculature for buff dudes because of Marvel, but these days, uh, not so much. <laughs> not so much. I used to draw really overly muscled men in my free time. Um, but these days, not as much. Not as much. Usually what makes money is drawings of girls, so we don't really get to really explore that anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to bring some of that back. <laughs> it's okay if you exaggerate it too, that's a part of the gesture. Yeah. A lot of people exaggerate the curves and the muscles just so you understand where they go when you're actually drawing a normal realistic figure. Cause... Understanding that's like the half of it, really. Yeah, sorry if I got a little bit weird earlier. I, I just... I'm trying to do this without getting too nervous. It was really hard for me to go live today because this is a... harder sort of stream for me to do in general. Like, really hard, so... I'm sorry. 
Mm. Does camera angles also part of gesture pose? Yes. Angles of the body also is a part of this. In the harder levels, you'll get more like... You'll get more sort of... Um... um You'll get more weird angles, but like since this is easy, we're not gonna get as many. You know? Sometimes I'm like, what am I drawing? What the hell am I drawing? <laughs> what the hell am I drawing? I like lose track. Wait, what? Where was I? That's okay. That's a normal thing. You'll get better at it with time. I think a lot of my nervousness comes uh, when, you know, I feel like people, you guys expect that I'm like a really good artist when. When, in all actuality, I'm a learning artist And you guys just praise me a lot And I feel like I don't want to disappoint you guys So it makes it really, really hard for me to like... Sometimes... Pick up a pen and do these streams Because I feel like I'm gonna disappoint people <laughs> <laughs> when they find out I'm just a learning artist. But I'm actually... Quite far behind because I quit for eight years And came back to it So... I am a little bit behind $5 super chest scribble in the dark. Just happy that someone to sketch with regardless of talent. Thank you. Like, I can make things look really good if you give me the time, but if you ask me to, like, draw you something fast on the spot, that's when things get a little bit. That's like, um, that's not something I'm able to do yet, so. I'm sort of. In that space. drawing that you can do in the shortest amount of time it that's very subjective i have no idea what you mean by that <laughs> i have no idea what you mean by that what do you mean by drawing
Hello! Like, yeah, I could do fast. You know, everybody can do fast. I can draw... I could do a drawing in five seconds. In less than one second, I can draw... A happy face. <laughs> in less than one second, I could draw a happy face. <laughs> uh... Right? Depends on what you mean by that. Give me one second. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much, guys. Another reason why I didn't want... <laughs> These streams are hard for me to do. So am I talking enough? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Doubt start diagramming where the hell I'm putting everything because I'm so confused with my lines. Mm -hmm. This is hard. I have no idea how armpits work still. I'll be very honest, I have no idea how armpits really are supposed to work. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? This one's tough. get this torso somewhat to look like it, I will be pretty... pretty happy with that. Because this is... How the hell... What is this? How do you draw this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, art block times, man. Sometimes my brain works super fast and I'm like, oh my god, I understand this. I get it. I'm such a pro artist. And then other times I'm like... Yeah, this is not... This is not going. This is not happening. <laughs> uh, I've been having more and more of those times lately. He's very bootalicious. Very, very bootalicious. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, welcome. Yeah, my neurons just do not want to do this thing. I wanted to do like real pictures, but they were like naked people, and Susan doesn't like that, so. So it made it more difficult for us because I feel like if we had pictures of normal people, it would make more sense, but... 
Susan hates naked people and female presenting nipples, so... <laughs> we're able to do that. Okay, it kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like it. Okay, I'm pretty... It looks so bad, but it kind of looks like it. I'm happy. It's whatever. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I haven't done this in years. Years. I tell you. Must think of the children. The thing is, okay, when I was a kid, I remember when I was younger and I was learning how to draw and I did this actually a lot more often. Like, I went out of my way to actually find resources for me to use. Like, to draw naked bodies and it was so hard. Because in order to draw naked bodies as a minor, you have to get all sorts of stuff signed and it was like... It was such a pain, right? Because it's like... If my mom reads my internet history... Will she think I was looking at porn? Because I searched up... Pictures of nude people. Like... That's a struggle, right? Like... You have to study it. But if you're a young artist... There's so many... There's so much red tape that you have to like... Jump through to even get that... Those resources, I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. I just... Felt like it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. I'm not saying hentai. You guys are like... Get your minds out of the gutter, guys. You don't look at hentai. To study art, you look at like the mo the models of people, like people, like art models, art nude models who model just for these sort of purposes. No, no, not as a kid, not as an eight year old or a twelve year old. No. Uh, also most hen- here's the thing. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad hentai. You have to learn the rules before you break them. Right? So like hentai anatomy is a little bit... It's... it's uh, exaggerated. It's not... it's stylistic. It looks good. But it's not how you should be learning to... Draw. You should learn how the real body works before you decide... Oh, I'm gonna fuck it up because it's my style. Yeah. Depen again? It has nothing to do with body type, my friends. <laughs> it has nothing to do with body types. Hentai tends to break rules, right? But those art people, most of them have learned how to draw... Un like, different types of bodies realistically. Before they went to draw anime and draw, like, break the rules, right? So... You, you don't... You don't want to... Break the rules unless you know them first, right? Yeah, learn the rules before you break them. I'm not saying you can't break the rules. I'm just saying you're gonna get better results. Um, by not being one of those artists who... You know those artists who um, are learning? And I think all of us fall into this sometimes where you're like... It's my style! I just draw like that because it's my style. So like your criticism doesn't matter. Which is like, okay, but... The anatomy is off, you know? That's that's like something classical that you need to... Because if, if you do it right, people wouldn't even say anything. If you break the rules right, people won't even say anything. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to have a good foundation. 
Yeah, they're still fundamentals. Style's supposed to look good, remember that. Remember that. It's not supposed to look bad. So you want to learn the rules before you break them. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. What is this pose? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's like it's like how how do you say this? In math terms. In math terms it would be You think every astrophysicist If an astrophysicist can't do algebra or understand PEMDAS. Can he come with, with can he come up with like theoreticals? He can't, right? <laughs> he can't come up with theoreticals. So like you can't you can't go up and make up your own rules until you understand the fundamentals. I know you guys are joking. When you type all these things in my chat. But I'm trying really hard to not get triggered today. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, so... Thank you, thank you, thank you, Super Iron Bot, for the five dollar super chat. Mm. <laughs> Trying really hard not to get triggered. <laughs> I am on edge today. Do I have a demon? I do, but I don't post on there. I don't post on there. I'm cautious about posting more online nowadays. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're gonna need a good versus bad hentai art stream. <sighs> I don't. I don't think that's a that's a thing. Like when I'm trying to explain what hentai art is, I'm not saying that. I'm not talking about whether or not something's good or bad. When I say that they're breaking the rules, I'm not saying that hentai art is bad. I'm not saying that hentai art is even good. I'm just saying that when you are drawing something that is made to be appealing in a certain way, there's things you can do to exaggerate and stylize the way you draw certain things to make it more sexy or make it more appealing to a certain audience that look good on paper and to the viewer, which is great, that's art. But if you're trying to become a, become somebody like that, you first got to know how to draw a normal human body before you can even know what are some of those things to even exaggerate or make better. Because what's good and bad art is always going to be subjective as well. But what is not subjective is the basics, right? So as long as you know those, you're not going to have as much unpleasant things in your drawings when you're making your own style, right? Yeah, like One Piece, you can definitely tell that the person is using a highly stylized drawing, but it still looks right. It still looks right and relative to everything because he still understands how to draw a human body. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. If you exaggerate something already fundamentally wrong, then it just gets worse. There's no like bones for those styles to kind of stick to, right? No matter how your style changes, a human body is a human body. If you fuck it up too much, it's gonna look weird and uncanny to the viewer, right? So, mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
stylizing from, let's say, One Piece, Naruto, and uh, Demon Slayer art. They're all different. They're all stylistically different. But you can tell that every one of these artists truly understands what the body looks like. Even American comic book artists. Like, those are super exaggerated drawings, right? But they look... They tend not to look wrong. There are some artists who are weak on the fundamentals and make a lot of mistakes, and you can tell, but... Because there's definitely questionable que comic book... American comic book art out there, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. AI, you guys are bringing up AI. AI works in the same way the human brain does. In in a way, it's a little different. Machine learning is a little different. I worked in AI before. So, what it's doing is it's taking its database of all the whatever art you pump into its its database, right? Its data set. And it's learning how a human body looks is supposed to look like through that data set, and then you just mish and mash those parts together, right? So it's kind of it kind of works in the same way that the human brain does, in that it it learns what a human body is supposed to look like and tries to apply it, but it's a machine, so it can't do that perfectly because it doesn't have like opinions and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not dropping another bombshell! I've worked in machine learning. I've programmed, I've helped uh, create data sets for big companies. And to be honest, image generation is not a very high level AI. In, in terms of AI, it is like pretty low level because it doesn't take like a lot of decision making. It will learn it depending on the images it's learned from that you pump into its data, data set. So, like. It's very rudimentary level AI. That's why I can do it like pretty well. You know what I mean? But like things like what the big tech companies are doing, which is like level five or more, that requires a little bit more. It requires more logic and teaching. Teaching a machine how to think like a human is really hard. <laughs> it's really, really hard. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I've been using Stable Diffusion for at least a day or two and I can't see how it would replace a good artist. Okay. You guys have to realize that uh, an AI is only limited by the size and quality of the data that's being pumped in, right? And this is pretty new, right? So let's say the AI can't draw hands or can't draw legs. Right now, it can't, it can't really fully grasp, but a human only has two legs, sometimes it generates three. Or it never knows how much fingers is on a hand. All the people would need to do is to pump in data of just hands, just legs, and annotate that data, telling the machine, this is the meat of the hand, these are the fingers, and this is where it's supposed to go. And if you do that enough times, hmm. If you do that enough times, the AI will get better at doing it. So it, l it might be shitty now, but it's not always going to be that way. It's kind of terrifying. And that calls into a question a lot of debates, which I'm not going to get into because I don't really care about... I don't really want to talk about that. But we can talk about... Like, how machine learning works and stuff like that. I can definitely talk about that. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So, so in a way, if, for example, when I said that an AI is only limited by the quality of its data and how that data is inputted, then if, if you really wanted to grief the whole system, technically, you could go in there and um, upload lots of art of, like, let's say you draw a lot of BL, like really disturb like Goku X Vegeta BL. Okay, I'm just giving a random example. I don't actually read this, but this is just the most extreme example I could think of. Let's say you draw a bunch of Vegeta and Goku BL with giant genitals and stuff, and you name it like 
flower field. You know, then if you do that enough times, then the machine is gonna think, oh, this picture of the two buff guys with their dongs out is a flower field. So when people ask for it to generate a flower field, it's gonna give you Goku X Vegeta. <laughs> As you will. <laughs> it's the best explanation ever, right? People understand when I explain it like this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, time to grief the system. You can grief the system. That's totally in your power. But it would need a lot of art to do that. You would need thousands of pictures. Thousands upon thousands of pictures of Vegeta and Goku donging. Um, as flower field for the AI to understand. It would have to like outnumber or significantly impact the current data set of what it thinks is a flower field. You know what I mean? You could do that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> don't worry, Sheena. I got the time and we'll do that. Well, Good on you, if you can, yeah. What if Sakuna asked you to draw a flower field? I'm not an AI, so... I will draw a little hill... A little hill... With some flowers on it... You know... And then... Like, there's more flowers... And then there's like... There's like another hill, and there's more flowers... And then there's a nice girl... In the front... With like... Long flowing hair... And she's gonna be like standing here in a sundress... You know... With a sun... Beautiful drawing... So... Yeah... But I'm not... I'm not an AI, so... I don't... Apply... Flower field to Goku and Vegeta porn... You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm 100% sure. But if you guys make a Sheena AI, and you ask Sheena AI, if you feed Sheena AI enough bad information, she will start giving you Goku and Vegeta BL. If you ask for a flower field, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Remember when chatbots started throwing slurs? And they had to pull the project because it became really racist. <laughs> That's just... That's just enough bad data can really... Give you an AI of questionable quality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so... Yeah, so just... Just be aware of that. Same thing happens with with AI. Um... As for everyone asking for my opinion of what I think... I don't think it's important. Because <laughs> there's no way I can change the flow of history or time. Like, this is definitely not... I don't think what I do is the time and place for that. So I just choose to not even give my opinion. All you need to do... All you need to know is it exists. And it's out there. And we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Super Iron Bob, I feed she the Sheena AI crabs. I don't know if I have enough digital antihistamines. Well, good luck with that. Make sure you bring your EpiPen. Are you, are those the famous Sheena Monogawa chicken cutlets you're drawing? No. <laughs> My cutlets are much smaller than that, I think. Sorry, I got lost there. I wasn't even drawing anymore. Oh, 
I wasn't even drawing anymore. I think I made the torso too short. Have you also worked on creating deep learning models? Yes, I, I, as I said, I was a, um, I was a tech company lead, and the field I worked in was data for specifically for machine learning. Yeah, it was specifically for machine learning, so. That's why. Mm. I'm not a genius, no. <laughs> I'm not a genius, just well lived. Well lived. Mm. I'm gonna fuck up this pose. I'm like not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention anymore. Perping data is the hardest part of machine learning. Not really. <laughs> there's there's much more to it. There's much more to it. That's just one part of it. But it is it is a very integral part because without it, there's no learning that can be had. Like if there if your machine doesn't learn a certain way, then you have to like build pathways and stuff to understand. Make sure the net understands like logic trees and stuff like that. It it really it really is complicated. Mm. Yeah, it's like making logic trees for the machine is very complicated and annoying. Yeah. So the engineers would, you know, think about how we're going to teach this AI. How are we going to build this logic tree for this AI to learn how to do this one thing? Um, which is why things like... Uh, when companies want AI to learn how to act like a human, how to make decisions on the street... That's a little more difficult, right? Because it's like... Tons of... If this, then this... But then... If a, if a car is coming by at the same time, what does it do? Um, there's a lot of like stuff like that that is very complicated and uh, hard for the computer to sort of replicate. That would be totally easy for a human brain, you know what I mean? Because we have opinions. <laughs> We have opinions, yeah. Computers don't have opinions. How do you com program opinions into computers? Uh, yeah, validation and readjustments are difficult too. Lots of iterations. Any thoughts on quantum computing? That is some... I've... No, I've never gotten. I'm not... I'm not... I can't say no anything about... About quantum computing. <laughs> I can't say I know anything about that. Even... Like, I know AI and machine learning on a surface level because I worked with it. But I can't pretend... Sit here and pretend to know... What quantum computing is. I don't even really understand calculus still, so. <laughs> Definitely the wrong person to ask for that. <laughs> yeah, quantum computing is something scientists themselves don't actually quite understand yet. It is. 
it is a mystery, even to people like them. They understand that it exists and it works the way it does, but why and how? Still kind of, kind of a total mystery. Yeah. Yeah, quantum mechanics is very scary. It's very, it's very scary stuff. Uh, quantum computers are cool and weird. Yeah, I don't even want to pretend to know. Because at this point, like, if you're asking someone like me who's very, like, uneducated about this sort of thing, and there's so much going on out there, I'm not sure if I'm feeding you, like, propaganda or, like, stuff people, like, those, those gurus like to pump out in the world for, um, middle aged housewife, housewives. To believe, you know? Like, like I don't know what's true and what's just myth, so like... Mm, I can't really further this conversation. More or less. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I lived in a household that was pretty prone to this sort of thing. Like, my my mom would tell me something she saw on ancient aliens and and she'd believe it. You know what I mean? Like, people are prone to this sort of thing. And... I don't want to be like a part of that system, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just like, I don't know, I, I, if I want to talk about something... I want to at least know a little bit about it before I just pull... Pull... Quote-unquote facts out of my ass. You know? <laughs> And make myself look like an idiot. <laughs> and make myself look like a complete fool. Which, yeah, is my job. <laughs> so I guess it would be okay. It would be okay. But yeah, sorry if I'm a little grouchy today, guys. I... I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm... So sleepy. So sleepy. Didn't get much sleep. And this is a, a very, a very difficult stream in terms of difficulty for me to do. I don't think I'm gonna post this. This is one of those things I'm gonna say for myself after this and just not post it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> I get like this too, guys. It's not it's not just it's not just you guys, okay? I'm not always gonna be very happy with the stuff I do. But I'm very happy that I did it. Does that make sense? Like it's like, okay, this sucks, but it is what we got now. And hopefully next time I do this, it will be much better. <laughs> yeah. It'll be much better. Think of it as a learning process. Yes, exactly. But I will not post it still. Just because I think of it as a learning process. Doesn't mean I'm comfortable with posting everything that I do for practice. Especially on an art block. Especially on an art block. I think I'm especially prone... To not being able to post on an art block. And I think that is pretty fair. That's 
That's a very dramatic pose. Very dramatic pose. Save this. Mm -hmm. Um, just uh, one. There we go. Okay. It's loading. Please. There we go. Another, another chance. Another canvas. Let's go. Poses are so cool. They really are. Mm. Hold on, I wonder if the colors are confusing me. Let's go and make it a different color. 30 second drawing, we'll do unisex, we'll do easy. For the models, we'll do... We'll do gray. And then we'll do... Do you recommend to buy wooden anatomy models? Um... I never found them very useful personally, but I don't have a very good one. There's better anatomy models you can get out there. But it can help you visualize the basic shape. I don't know what this is. Yeah, let's just not do this one. Hold on. This is too advanced. I had... I told it to give me easy poses. It gives me like hard as hell poses. This is hard too. This one I have to start with the head. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand this one. Uh, something like a Figma would be better than the wooden ones. Yeah, or like, uh, any 3D model that's like a poser? Like a poser model? If you use CSP, they actually have 3D models in there for your use. I use them a lot to help me, like, visualize where things go, because I'm not the best at understanding anatomy. Yeah, I think there's a lot of 3D tools nowadays. I don't understand this pose at all. Oh my god, hold on. I don't even know where to start with this one. Hold on. When art block hits, it hits hard. And then I have to think about like everything in super simple circles. I have to think of like a stick figure. Figma? Um, I don't because it's really expensive and I like to save money. But I do have anime plastic. Just not very... Not like a lot, a lot. Most of them are gifts. If there's a cute Nendo, usually I'll get it. But 
I don't even have a lot of those. I think I own like five Nendoroids. I have Iron Man, Saitama, um, some Token Number Boys. Yeah. I don't know how people who collect anime figures can really eat, to be honest. That stuff is like so expensive. Now, thank you for the Sheena do Thank you for the Sheena doing gestures with other people is really nostalgic. Thank you so much, Gribble in the Dark. I appreciate it. Appreciate you joining me today. myself when something starts looking like what I'm trying to do like like I had trouble with this but I got the torso to kind of look like what I'm going for and I think that's the best I can ask <laughs> that's like the best I can ask in this situation you know <laughs> it's like yeah it's not good but it kind of looks like it. And that's all I need, really. <laughs> oh. The neck here is really fucked up. What is this pose? The neck is so messed up. That is not how anatomy works. But okay. I'll just... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> What? It's like a bird neck. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Sorry, the, the screen's very small. Mm. Yeah, the 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 neck is I don't know, man. That is uh that is in between frames style neck. <laughs> that is an in between style. Like you know for animation, in betweens. They look a little funny because they're like meant to help the animator sort of transition to frame so they're always weird looking big I'm used to big paper and big canvases so for this sort of thing I never draw small enough for this
Motion blur, but in frame? What do you mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like a smear frame. Exactly. Like, a lot of people go online and they're like, Oh, this is bad animation. Like, there's like weird, weird sauce gays are pretty famous. There's like a lot of weird sauce gays in the original Naruto, but those are just like in between frames. They're not meant to look an anatomically correct, they're just smear frames. It's just to smooth the animation between two keyframes, so. Without it, your animation won't look good. Uh, my only Nendo is from Toho, I see. I I just bought the um Onion Knight one. <laughs> I just bought Onion Knight. I try not to spend money on like those sort of things these days. Because content creation is so expensive. Content creation is so expensive these days that I just try not to. Screenshot a frame and flame the animators. Yeah, it's just from a lack of understanding, you know? You have more than you're willing to admit. Is it an addiction? Is it an addiction? Hmm. Is it an addiction? <laughs> hmm. It's not, it's not even a cost-cutting measure, like, the smear frames. It's not even a cost... It, it, it... Modern anime has that, it's just less obvious. They tr they try to make it less obvious. That makes sense. Like... Naruto didn't have a really big budget, so obviously there, there's gonna be way more. And it's way more noticeable. But for high budget productions, the the smears are so fast because there's more frames. It's way more subtle. Yeah, you just can't notice it. But with with lower budget, of course, to make a big movement, they're gonna space it out a little bit more. So when they smear it, it's much more noticeable <laughs> if you pause it. Um, but with like modern anime, because higher higher budget productions have less. In between, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never understood why randoms increase the 60 FPS on anime. Yeah, I don't know. A 60 FPS wasn't really a thing when when the first Naruto first came out. You know, like nobody cared about FPS back then. Only like super sweaty, super sweaty computer nerds back then when it first came out. 30 was really good. 30 FPS, 15 FPS even was really good. So a little bit a little bit crazy how much consumer expectation has changed since mm. Yeah. Mm. Looks like some frames slowed down in early Naruto. It makes it look like Sasuke's pants are slipping off when he slowed down. It happens sometimes. That's the... That's the nature of in-betweens and smear frames. Of course, Naruto is... It's not a very high-budget production, so... That stuff's gonna happen more often, but... 
I just don't think it's fair to the animators that people were like shitting on it for like things they don't understand. Like, like, come on, these animators barely get paid to do 15 FPS, much less 144. <laughs> They're starving for you to pirate their content! <laughs> They're starving! heard about the plight of the animators, haven't you? They're kind of like... not in good shape. <laughs> they barely get paid for their work. Have crazy deadlines. Lots of them just die of overwork. Working conditions. Like, imagine dreaming to become an animator and then becoming one... And then... Being in poverty... For your dream... For the rest of your life... Unless you become like a director... Or something... <laughs> it's exactly why I did not end up choosing... Animation... As my main... Thing... Gorilla Pose! I feel like animators get used for their passion for animation. I've seen similar things in game devs, but at least it's getting better there. Yeah, I still end up as an animated girl, but this job is much, much, much different at... Di much, much different than working in, like, the animation anime... ...industry. At least on art side. On creation side, it's very rough. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Something like feet, anyways, yeah. And if we have if you have time, you can go back and kind of thicken up the edges. You could choose the lines so that it's a little more weighty. You can go up and clean it up with some thicker lines. And just kind of emphasize where things are darker and stuff like that. Just to emphasize size. And to find anything you forgot to. Yeah, you can go back and do that after, if you have time. I haven't because I've been sort of pretty bad at this today, but... Also been talking, but... <laughs> but you can if you got some time. Yeah. Do you have a pixiv? No, no, I don't. Most of the art I do nowadays, if I do, I'm actually taking a break for the most part right now from art because it's been. <sighs> it's been really rough for me. Um, art black wise, and my health isn't very good, so art's kind of taking a backseat while I. Just stick with streaming and working on my physical health. Because I still have to work on singing and everything, so something had to give. I feel bad because I had a lot of projects that I had to cancel. Um due to my health, but... Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Assuming your health isn't good. Are you getting better health-wise? It's way too soon to tell. I just saw the doctor. It wasn't very good. Not gonna get into too much detail today, but... It wasn't very good. That's all you guys need to know. It, it wasn't good news. So... Kind of... A little worried. Um, I talked about it before on another stream, so I won't go into it again. You can watch my other... My first stream this week, I kind of... I kind of go into it, um, a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, the health isn't... Very, um, very good. <laughs> to say the least. Is it a short-term fix, or it's gonna take a while? It's gonna take a while. Who knows? It's just gonna do... Last time it took me like six months... ...for my blood pressure to kind of... ...equalize, but that's with like... I didn't do anything, I just kind of... I had to take leave from work to get it under control, and I was at the tech company. But I can't really do that with my current job, so... My strategy this time is just to cut the amount of work that I'm actually having to do... ...and hope for the best. Yeah... I generally have pretty, um, 
delicate health because of my time at the Black Company and it's the one thing I think I regret about my youth is I spent too much time worrying about about that instead of like things that actually mattered to me in my life like being with my family and this and that I would never recommend... Picking... Picking work over like what's really... Spending time with people who are not going to be there with you forever. Um, my company robbed me of a lot of time... With... Um, one of my family members who passed away, um, who I was really close to, and I felt like I needed to give them my everything, my 200% every day, but all that did was take away time. That I had with the people that I cared about and Yeah, it really sucked. It really sucked. Yeah. Mm. Like, I was supposed to go visit um, my grandmother, like, the year before, but I didn't because of work, and I felt like. I, I, there was a part of me that actually felt like she was gonna be there for longer, but. There wasn't actually that much time left, and I never got to hang out with her um, when she could walk like ever again. And if I just had taken more PTO and not given a shit, then I would have been able to spend more time with her. And that's something I'll always regret. I'll always regret that. And I can't, I can't, there's a time I can't get back. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not... That time's not gonna come back ever again. I've already made my choice and... I can't fully blame my company too because ultimately, yes, I did try to... Make it my priority. At the time felt like it was the right thing to do. I wanted to be financially stable, so I chose that over... over my family, and... I will always regret that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. When you're young, you can only see what's in front of you. Not even when you're young. Some people live their whole lives like that. And then they die and realize your life has no meaning. Yeah, I'm out of there. But... I'll be lying if I say I don't miss the stability. It's kind of like a grass is always greener situation, right? Because like... Yeah... It was very stressful, but I knew exactly how much money... Was going to come in... Every month. And I generally... When things were good... I knew exactly what to expect, right? From my days. It was predictable. It was safe. Um, obviously, the company that I worked for wasn't very, like, good. But... Um, a part of me still wonders... You know? If, if I should get another job and do this... VTubing thing is less of a main thing. Mm. Ah, thank you! Thank you for the... Thank you for the... 
you for that chocolate. Thank you. I can't have chocolate, but I'll use it for a healthy snack. I'll use it for a healthy snack. Mm. Mm. You have mental and emotional support of Phase Connect. This is true. This is true. The co your, our company is a family thing is a red flag. It means you won't have any time for yourself. It's a catch-22. I did the opposite and I'm grateful for my opportunities. Uh, I did the opposite and I'm grateful, but my opportunities are reduced now because of it. Um, I mean, to be fair, like... I feel like I'm very lucky in the sense that I have all this work experience going into this. And it gives me a unique perspective on things, I suppose. Like, for example, I... I treat this very much like like a job. And I treat everyone I'm involved with um, professionally. Like, how I would treat my coworkers at work. Like, you know? And that kind of goes a long way. Especially when the median age of people in this industry is very, very young. And there's kind of a lack of that um, sort of attitude. So it, it kind of makes things sometimes easier and a little bit harder for me. Mm. Sometimes easier, sometimes harder. I, I don't know how to really... <laughs> Describe. Ah, uh, I can't read that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Oh, thank you for becoming a member! Are these? Are these? Thank you, Will Kennedy, for becoming a member. Why isn't this playing my members? Thank you for becoming a cookie. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys. Thank you all of you for becoming members. I really appreciate it. Isn't Phase Connect diverse age-wise? Um, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally, like, give away too much information. <laughs> but we are pretty diverse, I would say, yeah. Pretty diverse. And that still doesn't change things. I, I will still say... That my way of dealing with things... Is, um, sometimes... Easier and more difficult at the same time. Thank you for all the all the membership joins. Thank you so much. Welcome to the cookie tin, guys. I really appreciate. It. <laughs> Why are so much? Did somebody don't know? Did somebody don't know? It's a don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, oh, the alerting. What is this? What's happening? Stream elements! Are you... Are you okay? Stream elements! Heckin' delay... Is broken! Hello, Thermal! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> For the member, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Adele! Thank you for the $5 super chat. Always nice to listen to you when trying to relax. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for the two dollar tip, came off. My main issue with AI is that the people who are using it, uh, the people who are feeding the AI bad data. There's AI being used to filter Google and YouTube search results, and it's being fed all kinds of biased data that makes it hard to find fun and edgy content. Um, How much can I talk about this? <laughs> How much can I talk about this? Um, I think it's... I don't think the Google AI is, is a publicly kind of... Public data sort of thing, so... 
I can't I can't really talk about it. I I know a bit about this, but I I don't think I can talk about it, no. I can't say what I think, no. I can't. Not regarding this. Um let's see. Uh <laughs> Did I miss some super chats? Thank you for the five dollar super chat Raga Furio. I like it when Sheena talks about things. I talk about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Um, let's see here. You say coward, but wait till you get in a lawsuit with a big conglomerate. Do you like that? Do you have several million dollars to go on a lawsuit with, my friend? You do it. Sure, I'll take coward. I'm not rich. Uh, let's see. Uh, your talk about work is extremely relatable. Doing what you love for a living is a real blessing. It is! It is a blessing. It is absolutely a blessing, but... Um... I would say be a little more cautious. If you... if Because then, if you do what you love for a living... There's a lot of it... That you originally would have loved if it was a um, hobby but then it becomes some of the things don't get me wrong I love what I do but some of the things becomes a chore and you lose some of that like initial enjoyment for that thing but though it would depend on the person a little bit right yeah yeah exactly your relationship with the thing changes when it becomes a bit more of an obligation. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, this is this is a uh, very flamboyant of of this of this guy. <laughs> this is a very cute pose. <laughs> Schoolgirl pose, but it's a buff dude. He's slaying. Oh my god. I'm bored of this. <laughs> I'm growing bored of drawing this. Oh my god, I'm running out of space too. Okay, I'm, I'm moving on to another canvas. Save as... Gesture 2. Gesture 2. And then I'm going to file new... New canvas! I wish I could just flip through the pages like a sketchbook, but I can't, so... Yeah, he's a Jojo character. Cameraman is lucky. No, we're lucky. We get to see his ass. We get to see nice booty. I think we're the lucky ones. We're getting the best view. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're getting the best view. The only view that matters. <laughs> uh, it's like one of those medieval drawings. What do you mean? How is this a medieval drawing? Please, please explain. Please explain yourself to your viewer. What makes this a medieval drawing? Um, is this a post study from a sailor suit old man? I have no idea. It's just a random... It's post maniacs. You guys know exactly where I'm getting this. I have no clue. Oh! The pose look like what you would see in a medieval drawing. I would like to see this medieval drawing of a guy making a peace sign and bending over a little. I would like to see that. Somebody send it to me. The weird monks look like... Ha! 
How did they do it? Like, bent over... Like... How did they draw it? Their anatomy was really bad. It was like... It, it looked like this. <laughs> but that doesn't look like that. <laughs> they all look like that. And they'll be holding something. And then they'll be like a messed up... A messed up... Picture of some religious figure. Yeah. There's 100% a guy giving a peace sign in the Bayo tapestry. Well, we'll try me. Thank you for the $5 super chat, Kumiko Shino. I think you corrupted my brain's data set. I tried drawing you sitting in a flower field. Something... Something went wrong. <laughs> Not enough data! Keep feeding it. Keep feeding it. Hmm. 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 Uh, hello! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for becoming a member for two months. Thank you so much. Okay, this this pose is almost over. I'm gonna skip this pose because I'm it's not possible for me right now. Mm. Thank you, thank you guys. Sorry, sorry. This stream is a, is a little is a little scuffed. Mm. Heads up though, though guys. I know like you guys sometimes think it's like really really funny to mention. Hentai things, but if I'm saying what if I'm telling you a story of when I was like eight years old and I was like trying to look up like artistic nude dr nude pictures of people to draw and you guys mention hentai, it's a little uncomfortable, you know? That's a little weird. That's a little that's a little freaking it's a little freaking weird. <laughs> So yeah, that's why I got a little bit angry earlier. Just just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's just it was just a lot. It, it's kind of sized. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. It is weird. It is weird. Hmm. Yeah. Not that I don't know about it. We know about it, obviously. I like I like I like cultured artwork too. Like I like cultured artwork too. You know. I'm not saying I don't, but we're talking about eight-year-old Sheena here. She's not going to find hentai on a computer. And the story was how I was actively not trying to like make my mom think I was looking up weird stuff on the internet. When I was just trying to learn how to draw. <laughs> Yes. Mm. Mm. A little spice is always appreciated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, isn't it very weird? Yeah. Just keep that in mind when you're when you're joking. Sometimes things can go a little bit can get a little bit too far, you know? <laughs> Like, I'm happy to joke with you about that kind of stuff on the normal, but I feel like there's some things. Hmm. Sometimes chat gets a little bit spicy. Yeah, you guys like go bottom left too fast. <laughs> Way too fast. I can't tell what muscle is what. In these gray drawings, I'll be honest. I have no idea what's going on. You do be unhinged sometimes. I like it when you electro chat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Models, no yeah, it is Naruto running. You're right. You're right, it is Naruto running. 
Hold on, hold on. Eh. Where is... My drawing thing went away. Mm. I live in the bottom left. Did you just dox yourself? Did you just dox yourself? Cookie. Now, now all the cookies know where you live. Are you okay with that? <laughs> Man, this is a... Sometimes I do an art stream, I'm like, this was a mistake. <laughs> this was a big mistake. This is why I don't do these during art block. Oh, this pose is, is not that hard, but my brain just doesn't want to process these shapes right now. At all. You, yeah, you guys need a. Sl I need a sledgehammer to get past this. It's been going on for like three weeks now, I think. I couldn't draw anything good for three weeks. What is this? What is this pose? <laughs> what is this? What? This is a yoga pose? This is a yoga pose? But I don't know, man. I don't know. They're like, oh, you thought you, you said you couldn't draw? Let's get sussy. Let's get sussy. I'm like, okay. Yeah, sure, I'll draw the legs first. Okay, we'll, we'll attempt it since they, since they took us there. Why not? Why not? Why this? Why... Why is this happening to us? Why is this bro showing us his... In all of his ass cheeks? Bro, you good? That's a lot of cheek for one man to show. <laughs> That's a lot of cheek for one man to show. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, God. Reminding us is important to stretch. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. My god. I hate how I couldn't draw any of the other poses. And then when I get to this one, my brain is like, oh yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Why?
like, man, I'm struggling. This art thing is hard. I don't know if this is the right decision. And then this fucking... This one comes out and I'm like, wait! I could do this! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My bro, I could totally, totally do this now. No problemo. Not even one, not a singular problem. <laughs> thank you for welcome to the butter cookies, Kanani. Thank you so much. You walk in in the right moment. <laughs> oh god, why am I like this? Why am I like this, guys? Why? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Detail toes? No, not detailed toes. Imagine if someone raided into me right now. I mean, this is not... Okay, this is not that sussy. I mean, the title says... The title says... <laughs> We're doing pose studies, so... It's completely normal! I'm winning! Okay, what's next? Oh, nice, okay. This is like a yoga pose again. How often do you see this pose? Not very often, I'll admit. Wow, that like activated all my neurons at the same time. I can't believe this. Now, we're just gonna draw in basic shape because I cannot, for the life of me, draw anything better today. So, we are going to just really simplify this and make this quick. And then we're gonna go in and actually draw the figure after I draw some sort of guide because your girl is suffering now. I am... Not having the greatest of art days at all. <laughs> and now I can fix this. <laughs> Man, I really should have taken the time to do this when I was younger and not quit art, but I did and I quit and now I'm stuck here doing this stuff and struggling. You, you guys ever feel that? Like, man, I really wish... I had just... a better head on my shoulders. And that I did this... before. So I don't have to suffer this again. Every day. Every day. We'll suffer together. It'll be... It'll be fine. It will be... Absolutely... Fine.
Uh, thank you for the sub, guys. A person without regrets never lives. This is true. This is true. But this is where we start. You know, it's gonna be okay. Welcome to the butter cookies. Thank you, guys. Feeling very self conscious today, but you guys are keeping me afloat. <laughs> Very self... Very self-conscious today! Ah! Uh... This? I don't get how this looks... This is supposed to look right now. This looks really messed up. I think it's because this isn't going down far enough. Yoga stance. It's a yoga stance. Uh, thank you, thank you. We are a product of our experiences, so I expect going back and fixing certain regrets to come with the monkey paw. Yeah, it, of, of course. I don't think anybody's path in any art is perfect, but. What is this? This is break dancing. How am I supposed to draw this? Okay, well, we can start with the basic head, I guess. This this looks uh to be a doozy. This looks to be quite a doozy today. What is this? I... That's the main... I main Eddie in Tekken? <laughs> I don't play Tekken, so I wouldn't know who Eddie is. I'm not a fighting game kind of gal. I knew a lot of, like, Street Fighter pros, though, back in the day, but... Not anymore. I used to work with a lot of them. At one of the companies I used to work at. Fancy tech jobs by day? Sweaty gamers by night. But wasn't that how it always goes? in a sentence. <laughs> I have worked everywhere. I've lived a life. I have quite the resume. My resume... I'm lucky in this way that I could probably get... almost any job under the sun. I could probably get like so many jobs under the sun. Like... Credentials kind of whack, but like... Nothing that I'm passionate in. No, I can't... I cannot become president. Nope. I 
cannot become president. Don't have the... Don't have the... Credentials nor desire. Become a Philly politician! <gasps> Can't believe you guys would ask me to do that. I thought we were friends. Thought we were chill. Can't believe this. You're my gym sis. Leader of the crab people. You have four degrees of fashion isn't there anymore. Thankfully I found my passion in me too. Well good luck. Good luck. It's not the easiest industry, but if it fulfills you, then that's all that matters, right? Okay, let's see. I don't want to draw this other leg. I don't know where this arm goes. This is right here. I don't know if you guys ever took like studio classes, but I remember taking studio classes and some days I could barely draw because I'd be stuck in a huge art... art rut and then like... like an... I just couldn't. And all your classmates are like doing crazy stuff and you're just like... Man... <laughs> so you're just... You're just barfing on the paper like... Oh god... This is good enough, I guess... Mm. The sketches being so close together making it look like an intense combat situation... <laughs> Perks of being straight lace. What do you mean? No, I no, I, I don't mean drugs. I mean art class. I mean art class. I'm not. I'm not talking about drugs. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Some of you are talking about drugs. No, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know what this do. What this has to do with being straight laced? When you're in an art class and you have a day where you can't draw, and your classmates can draw, and you're sitting, you're know, like, man. <laughs> I'm useless, and you're just trying not to cry the whole time. That's me. Some days, it really just didn't. But then some days... Because I feel like there's like expectations. Especially when people are telling you... Like, oh, you're talented. That means you're going to be able to like do this. That means you're, you're able to do this. And it puts like expectations on you. And then you're just like... Man, I really actually am really bad at this, this, and this. But I feel like I'm not allowed to be. Because now people are expecting me to be good at this. And that's like really how I feel about drawing a lot of the times recently. Hmm. Formal straight edge is sober. Oh, okay. Well, even if you're formal and you're in class, you can't draw something that I don't know what that has to do with. Like, for singing too. Like, for karaoke, sometimes I'll have a bad day. But I feel like I'm not allowed to have a bad day now if I'm performing. Sometimes... Sometimes...
sometimes it's like... Because everything you put out there as a content creator... You're kind of putting out there for the world to... To judge, you know? And sometimes I feel like... Sometimes I just feel like there's not really... If I put something out that I'm not happy with, or it doesn't come out the way I wanted, which is normal, you know, everybody can't put out excellent stuff every single time. That's not... It's not possible, especially like putting into consideration like vocal condition and... Just general feelings too. Artist, art, artistic stuff's kind of like that. But then with like... With content creation... If you put something out there and it's not like perfect and people kind of... Talk about it or... Oh, maybe they'll think you're a bad singer now or blah 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 blah. It's very scary. It's very scary. It's not gonna stop me, but it's definitely something... You have in like the back of your head. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. At the beginning, um, I think I was able to kind of. When things are new, it's 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 like unprepared for. It's definitely easier for you to sort of do things over the top and well. But as times go on, you're not always gonna have those perfect performances, you know? So... Those times get really tough. What is this? When you keep checking the reference and looking back, it ends up looking very cute on your model. I'm glad, I'm glad. Hmm. Yeah, the fact that it can happen is still something to nag at in your mind. It's not particularly hard, per se, but I don't quite understand what parts are what parts here. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he's dead. I'm trying to understand this right now. I don't understand this. We'll just do the legs. The only part I do understand. <laughs> Maybe I'll understand it as I go. Maybe. You know... It's funny you say that my I look cute when I'm looking down. The whole reason I asked my papa to add the looking like the extra angles is because I knew I was gonna do art streams and I look down a lot. And I feel like that would be nice to have in general. So that's why I asked Papa to give me more emotion, not knowing that Papa would completely re-rig my model, like, in general. Yeah. Rolling to avoid pond. <laughs> it's very immersive, I'm glad. I was like, hey, Pop. Hey, Papa, I I was requesting a lean in because I wanted to have full immersion when I'm drawing. And Papa was like, okay. Didn't have enough time to do it at first, but eventually... Eventually, Papa gave it to us, so... I don't understand this part right here. Like, I don't quite understand this section 
in particular. I have no idea what's going on. I... I don't think color coding would really make it better. I think it's just one of those references. My brain is just like, no, I, I don't... I don't get it. I'm like, okay, fair enough. We'll just... <laughs> we'll just do our best. Yeah, I don't... I don't get this... This one at all. I just drew a potato shape that's vaguely like the reference. That'll have to do. <laughs> That'll have to do. Oh, maybe he's in the process of rolling. You're right. Okay, there's still time. There's still time. I can go and fix some stuff. I can go in and fix some stuff. Okay, my complaint about this program is... For tablets, some of the controls are a little fucked up. They're like, not the most easy to press and control. Maybe it's just my tablet though, maybe for other people's tablets it will be different. But for my tablet in particular, kind of a big pain. Not a great time. It's not very responsive, I feel like. Um... Of course, it's not really for like anime drawings. This is more for like painting watercolors and stuff. If you're more of a traditional artist, this is kind of like a... In between sort of program. I have no idea. I still have no idea what's happening in that one. I gave I gave it my best shot. Yeah. Is it wrong to want Sheena to be my wife? Um, not necessarily, unless you're gonna be over the top. <laughs> Not necessarily. It's not a bad thing. Hmm. Did you get this program for a specific job or only because there was a sale? Only because there was a sale! Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Only because there was a sale. And I used to be a watercolorist, so... Yeah. Just, just don't do mean things, you're good. Basically, if you... If you... Are big... Are big fan... You can be, but just just make sure you're mentally okay, mm. and you don't do anything to hurt me. <laughs> then, then you're, you're you're cool. You're cool. Mm. Mm. Just don't be mean. Just don't. Just don't be. Just don't be mean. Don't be mean. That's all you need to do. Mm. I'll always love my butter cookies, you know? And I'm always gonna assume that you guys have my, like... You guys are gonna have my best interests in mind. But just... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I need to say any more about that. Mm. Oh man, I'm exhausted actually. Hold on. I want Sheena as my gym buddy. <laughs> oh, we've almost been drawing for two hours. Hmm. Uh, I want all of you as my gym buddy too. It would be much easier to go to the gym if there's more people around. But sadly... Well, next week I plan, I plan to play um, Ring Fit. Ring fit, and I'll put my ASMR mic up so it feels like I'm suffering in the room with you. <laughs> We're playing RFA! Yeah, ring fit. I'll put my ASMR mic on so it feels like I'm in the room. Yeah. 
Look, I have an ASMR mic. I might not want to lick the mic or anything. Like, that's not really my thing. But I'll still do stuff. Like, stupid stuff like that. <laughs> I have it. Might as well use it. Of course I have an ASMR. I have a 3DO. It cost me $400. $400 to get a 3DO. I only use it a handful of times. Is it fan service? I just wanted to give you guys suffering in HD. Because who am I kidding? That's what you guys are here for. Suffering in HD is really what you guys are are here to see. What? What do you mean question mark? I know you guys. I know that's what you guys are after. HD suffering? Who doesn't want that? You're here for the Zatsus. <laughs> I can't have a Zatsu every stream. Can't have a Zatsu every stream. JK, every stream is a Zatsu. That was a lie. That was a lie. That was a big fat lie. <laughs> that was a fat lie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't draw this. I suddenly lost all my ability again. Oh gosh, why can't I draw? This is not even particularly hard. Why? Why did... We need another booty pose right now. We need another booty pose. This instant. Okay, you know what? I think we're done with this for today. We're going to... Save it. We're gonna save it. I'm gonna close it. And then we're gonna do something new. We're gonna test this program. We're gonna test this program a little bit. We're gonna make a little doodle... ...of something. Uh, let's see. And then we're gonna test the watercolor... ...capabilities of this. So, I think I'm gonna draw a realistic figure. Let's... let's draw... Who should we draw? Hmm. Let's go to... let's just do the... go to Pinterest and... Let's just go to Pinterest and see what comes up. Pinterest... Pinterest... Um, let's go ahead and do something simple, not something too difficult, because your girl can't handle that today. We'll draw some e-girl. <laughs> we'll draw some e-girl. It'll be, it'll be fine. You know, every artist does this. It's like, oh, find a pretty girl on the internet and draw her. I don't even know who this is. We're gonna use a fountain pen. I'm just gonna draw this pretty fast. We're just going to... And it's not gonna be the greatest, but... It'll be enough to test our watercolor. Whoa, this is not... The stability on this is not good. The stability, um, it doesn't really... ...play perfectly, like... 
Like, the strokes are wobbly, you see that? They're so wobbly. A little bit tough to work with. Okay. Not necessarily a bad... You give it a little bit of life. And character. But we're working with Fountain Ink. I really like how it actually looks like Fountain Ink, though. Like, that actually looks like Fountain Ink. Like, if I zoom in, like, that looks really realistic. Like, that... But it doesn't... It's harder to control than, like... Real life. Function in this program where you can like work with wet medium. You have to make sure to like take care to dry them, just like you would with watercolor in real life, which I think is pretty neat. That really like was attractive to me because it's hard to capture how water would work. Um, in a computer. And we haven't tested that yet, though, so let's see how that goes. Because mm, I'm not sure... ...at this point, not too... ...100% sure. Distance? Equal distance apart? So... Mm. Looks cool already could be a little. Okay, no, not every... Every needs to be an eye. I feel like whenever people see an eye, they're like, Ooh, an eye. It's like a logo. It looks so professional. I'm like, no, nobody does that anymore. Unless you're a doctor. Unless you're an eye doctor. I feel like fast strokes actually work better for this than slow ones. Hold on. More <laughs> combination of elaborate medieval style coat of arms. I don't think that'll do very well in today's in today's climate. Like that appealed to other than um like, people who like that sort of thing. Like, LARPers and stuff. Like, medieval LARPers and stuff. Okay. Have to appeal to the 
with the shape one with the shape and one color. Pretty much, it has to be pretty minimalistic to appeal to the zoomers these days. They, they're really into the minimalism sort of stuff. But I feel like millennials were too. That's been that's been the way to go for a while. I don't know. That's how I that's how I feel. Yeah, minimalism's not really fun But when everybody's doing it That's true with all art, though I think anime is really the only thing that Is kind of... Different in a sense Because... It feels like an anime, like the most commercial stuff Is kind of like, pretty... It's similar Two thousand Moe Blob? Moe Blob? What's the Moe Blob era? Explain. I mean, to be fair, when you guys are talking about quote unquote copying, it's a little bit hard to argue because most art is. I mean, all of our actually is like inspired from another thing. So like, it's kind of hard to be completely unique nowadays. There's no like complete unique thought. Like every art is inspired by some, not necessarily copied. But definitely inspired by something else. But I wouldn't say ripping off. That's that's a little too harsh. That's a little too harsh. I wouldn't say ripping off. It's my work out there is sort of derivative of something else these days. Well, it's all it always has been, right? Like artists have inspirations. And those inspirations tend to be pretty similar to each other. This pen is not too easy to control. I must say, it looks very realistic, but it's pretty easy to control. It 
it's actually sort of difficult. I think if I... Could I edit things? Can I... Snow? Can I move this? Oh, I could... I could edit it like this. Oh, I can move it. It was just not... Wow! We love when that happens. How do I... How do I deselect? How do I deselect? It doesn't tell me. I hate new programs. Hold on. Edit, select, deselect. There it is. We hate new programs when it does that. It's like the hardest thing to draw. I haven't drawn like this in a while. I feel like realistic wise, it's like you can tell it's an e girl because of the nose. Why? What? What's this about the nose? Hmm. <laughs> Difference between ripping somebody off and being inspired. Like I'm not saying they're the same thing, but they are. They are get confused a lot. It's debatable, right? It's debatable. That's the thing. Like people get into arguments about it all the time. Hold on. Let me do another layer. We're gonna just. Do this the old-fashioned way, because... Your girl can't... Come up with a face shape... Without this... Um... And then I can erase the extra stuff. There. Yeah, there's like tons of gray area. Like people can argue forever about like, is this derivative work? Is this copying? But then it's like, can you own a concept, right? Like, can you... Can you really own a concept? And that's when it gets kind of... Wonky. Because there's some that are super generic and people will argue forever. Man, I hate this drawing. I hate this. Everyone draws the same pose. Like, like here's the thing, right? Like with the AI that came out. I can't really tell that apart from like literally everything else that's been created. Man, I hate this. Ah, art art block is so hard to deal with, guys. Come on, deselect, come on. 
Why is it still selected? This program is pissing me off! There it is. You know what? I think a face is too... is too rough, so we're gonna draw an apple. <laughs> we're gonna draw an apple. Yeah, we're gonna... we're gonna draw an apple. Oh. Reference. Apple. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay, we're gonna draw... We're gonna draw uh, some apples and we're gonna watercolor it. Or just one. Just one apple. Uh... Let's do... This one's quite nice. Okay. I'm gonna use a bit of a brown color and then we're gonna go in. Basically, draw some shapes in just to know where we're gonna put everything. Art block so bad today. I'm so sorry, guys, for the scuffness. I am really confused myself as to what is causing this decline in ability these past couple weeks has ridiculous actually Old age? No, that's not it. Old age is supposed to make you better at art. In hindsight, maybe I should have like... Gone with a program I was more... Familiar with, but I really wanted to test this, so... We are here now. Okay, we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna go in and test the watercolor capabilities. Try this? No, that's that's not that's not what I wanted to do. Why is it bleeding? Okay. Dry. Oh, I could try this. Okay, let me try the ink. Let me try the ink. <laughs> this is weird. I have to try the ink. Okay. This is weird. I've never seen this before. Okay. Have to dry the ink. And then... It's too realistic. And then now I can finally paint. Okay, so... I like wet on wet techniques. So I think we're supposed to apply water. Where's the water? Water? Is this water? Oh, this is what was. Okay. Oh, we're applying water. Oh, this is too much. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're applying water. Cool. That's chill. Okay, applying water. We can apply it on here. 
It's fine. I think we can do a light wash and then dry it and then another light wash. Hold on. Wow, this is a little tough to control. It's not like in real life where it just makes sense, you know? There's still a little finicky... ...amount. Okay, so now the apple is wet. One apple is wet. And now I guess I can start... ...applying the red and pinks... ...to this. So let's start with a, a light salmon color as a base painting. We're gonna take a, lot, a round brush... ...and we're gonna just go like this. Why isn't it spreading? I thought... I thought I applied water! Where'd the water go? Yeah, the water is there, so why isn't it spreading? Spread! Okay, now it's kind of sp kind of spreading. Okay, okay, it's doing it's doing something. It's doing something. Just need to put more water. Is it gonna spread to the side for me? Spread. Spread, please. And it kind of mix like this. Not bleed outside of the water I've already applied. It shouldn't bleed outside of it. But it's a little... It doesn't work... It works like crappy watercolor paper. Like very crappy watercolor paper. Because on normal watercolor paper... The colors won't separate like this. Like this is... Sign of very very crappy watercolor paper. <laughs> it's kind of... I mean... Like... It's like working like Crayola. Like Crayola watercolor. It's moving. Mm. It looks like super crappy watercolor paper. Oh my god. It's kind of working. Is it worth it? It's finicky. You can get it to work, but it's finicky. Is the liner brush gonna spread? No, this one's better. Okay, this one's better for this sort of thing. Let's give it more depth here. You can build it up... ...if you keep applying the color. Hopefully it doesn't dry. Is it gonna spread properly? The thing is, I don't... I didn't work with gouache before. Maybe if I, I put less water... It will... Spread a little less? Because this is not good. This is not a good thing right here. No, there's no way to choose your paper kind. They all work similarly. It's the brushes that make the difference. Oh my gosh. 
Watercolors are black magic to me. Um, they they're they're easier in real life. <laughs> they're easier. They're easier in real life. Especially what on wet. This is this is like not very good simulation of it, but it is the best I've seen on a computer. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Hmm. Let's see if we can make it work. Let's see if we can make it work. Okay. Let's let's pick another color while it's still wet. Uh, we're gonna pick a more burnt umber. More towards... A colder color right here. Is it spreading? I guess! <laughs> These are not the strokes I'd be using in real life, though. Definitely not the strokes I'd be using in real life. A hundred percent. dry or do I have to manually dry it? It's still spreading, so that's a good sign. We'll just keep building. Watercolor is like one of those things that you gotta be patient with. The issue is... This is less predictable than normal watercolor. Which is already kind of unpredictable. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I don't know about this one, Chief. <laughs> I'm using the ketchup to paint. We're trying. We're trying. We're going to make this work. Oh man, where is the pigment? Give me pigment. Come on. I much prefer real watercolor to this. <laughs> is it still spreading or is it... drying? Oh no, it's still wet. It's still wet. Why isn't it spreading? Spread? I need you to spread. Come on. Please spread. 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 I'm glad I didn't pay. Like 200 USD for this, though. <laughs> it's not like it's not doable. It it kind of is. But if you're going to use wet on wet techniques, it's going to be a little bit finicky for you. A hundred percent. It's not gonna be... The, the nicest experience... Ever? Spread! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You can put that review on the front of the box. Uh... I don't want to be mean, you know? I don't want to be mean, because this is like... I mean, it's doing it better than, than every other program I've tried so far. I'll give it that. I'll give it that 100%. It's doing it better... 
than the others. I'll give it that. Looks good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but thank you. But thank you. Wish it would just spread more. I need the colors to like spread, baby. Come on, you could do that. You could. The colors need to spread. Come on. Too much water. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close! It's not even close to looking like a real apple! Spread! Spread! Come on. Come on. We gotta do this. Slowly but surely. Just wanna paint a single apple. You can always put in the highlights later. <gasps> this is actually a type of mold. This is a type of mold. This is exactly on brand for us. This is this is a type of mold. I've decided this is a type of mold. I've decided. <laughs> Painting program very frustrating. I mean, it's doing better than all the other watercolor simulators. I think I could get used to this. I feel proud of this mold. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad at least you're proud. We will prevail. Uh, I'm reverse Bob Ross, that's right. I'm reverse Bob Ross. Instead of calming feels, you guys will get ragey feels from my pain. <laughs> my absolute pain in creating art. <laughs> Painting should make you mold. If you're mold not molding, you're doing it wrong. I'm like the anti-Bob Ross. How can you anti-Bob Ross? I don't know, but I managed to do it. <laughs> I managed it. Holy crap. Da, 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 da. As long as you don't go full Tyler 1. I feel like Sakuna wants me to be Tyler 1. He wishes I was Tyler 1. He wants a Tyler 1 VTuber. Why else would I sign to do Maldi stuff? <laughs> so much. This is what's great about digital, though. You're just like, oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna erase it. And then you totally can. <laughs> like, I think this is the most awesome part about this. Like, you could just... Whoopsies! Uh-oh, stinky! And just... Fix it. <laughs> That's the best part. 
but that does not does not make my job easier. No, it 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 really doesn't. Thus far, it has made my job easier. Hmm. So far, it's kind of made my job a little hard. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> Tell Sakuna you're available on Mondays. Yeah, so maybe, maybe if you're auditioning for Face Connect, try Tyler One. We're looking for you, <laughs> female Tyler One. Uh, I don't know. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Dum -ba -da -dum. You're saying the next gen will be tire one? No. I didn't I didn't say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say anything. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Now we're gonna... We're gonna dry it now. Everything is gonna dry. And now we're gonna do... Wet on dry. Wet on dry technique. So we're gonna use our liner pen. We're gonna go with a really dark sienna color. And completely fill out the dark parts. That need to be filled. Dry will give you harder edges. It gives you harder edges, so keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, it does not look like a real apple yet. There's so much you need to do to it to make it look like a real apple. You guys will watch. I will I will show you guys how this will turn into a real apple. Just give me a little bit, okay? There's much more to be seen still. There's a long process for this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet the apple again, but make it less watery. <laughs> but make it less watery, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to take this, we're gonna use the water again, um, and we're going to put a okay amount of water. Actually, we have to dry everything else. Hold on. Gotta dry this stuff. Dry this stuff, and then we're going to go back with the water, and then we're going to wet everything again. And we can wet the darker parts, because the darker parts won't be affected by the lighter colors, but the lighter colors will be affected. So if I put water all over the parts that are already... Colored, then I won't really ruin what's underneath. Theoretically, because this is a program, so I don't actually know how this is gonna go. Theoretically, this should work, but we will see. Now we're gonna take a liner brush and we're gonna take a darker color. I am inclined to put a bit of purple. 
And we're gonna start going in for the detail. That's a little... I'm gonna put a bit more water. Is that gonna spread? No, it's too purple. Hold on. Yeah, it's gonna spread. That's gonna spread for us. We're just going to go in and put in some apple detailing. And it's gonna spread out a bit to make it look more... ...realistic. Uh, It's going too much. Okay. It's going too far. That's chill. It just needs less water. <laughs> Stop spreading! Stop it! Yeah, middle! Okay. What is even an apple? Honestly, halfway through all of my art projects, that's literally... What it's like. It's like, what is... What it, What am I even drawing anymore? Can't... Really tell anymore. <laughs> the spread of the colors is... <sighs> Causing me to rage, actually. Not very nice. Not very nice spread of colors. This is how this is supposed to go. This is not how I wanted this to go! Friends we made along the way. <laughs> Come on! Do you put apples in your ketchup? No, I don't make my own ketchup. I just buy Heinz. Come on! How could an art stream become a mauled stream? This is how. This is how. <laughs> this is exactly how. This is exactly how an art stream becomes a mauled stream. Right here. I am demonstrating it right now. Heinz is great. It's my it's the it's my ketchup brand of choice, yes. Apple, we could do it. We could do this. We could do this. We'll make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make apple. <laughs> There's a lot of tones I'm missing here. If this was if this is me back then, is this is watercolorist Sheena? Watercolorist Sheena would not be happy with this. Watercolor Sheena would hate this.
Spread. Spread finger paint, Sheena would probably like this. I, I used to do speed finger painting too. Those are fun. We, we had like teams for finger painting for like... In high school, it was nice. We had like... 40 minutes to do a crazy painting with just hands and stuff. Gymnasium in front of everyone. That was really fun. Those are really, really fun. Yeah, you just put your hands in paint and splat, splat, splat it all over the... Uh, the canvas. It's quite fun. The inner child in you will really love that. Ah, <sighs> it, it's coming along nicely. It's coming along nicely. I Gouache some of this afterwards and put in some details, and then we're done with uh with an apple. <laughs> it's a thing. Any type of painting can be a thing if you make it a thing. You just gotta make it a thing. It's starting to look like what I need it to look like. It's starting to form. Painting is a patience. You know, it's kind of nice not to be drawing anime. Dream or people. It's kind of refreshing. Maybe I should stop drawing people for a while and just paint objects and paint still lifes. I think I should do that. <laughs> I think I should just paint still lifes for a little bit. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Unironically, a fruit stream. I don't know any VTuber who paints still lifes. <laughs> I'll paint still lifes for a bit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> yes, this stream did help me in some way. It did. I learned something. I still life VTuber. That's what I should be for a while. I should just... I should just draw a still life. <laughs> Watch that, unironically, really. Anti-Bob... Ross, like, stressful still life. <laughs> stressful still life. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny. You guys have weird taste, but that's why I like you guys. That's why I like you guys. You guys all have funky taste. Mm. I'm putting in grade as I've noticed. I'm putting in gray to sort of bolster the tone of this apple. In some places, there's missing a bit of depth, so we're gonna give it a bit of depth. Mm -hmm. Blame the internet for destroying the sense of humor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry the internet did that to you. It's done that to me too. It's done that to everyone. Fine. <laughs> okay, very exaggerated sort of apple shading here. We're gonna go in and fix some of this. And then we're gonna go in and put the details in. In, in, just, in just a little bit. After I shade this more, because there's still stuff here that I would... ...much rather fix right now. 
Then later... Okay, there we go. Uh, now what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> Never mind. Keep on shading this apple, because I want this to be darker. I want this to be darker. I think if you get... If you play with this a little bit, it's not that bad. Like, it's... I'm actually starting to like it a little bit. It's less messy than having to take out all my paints. It's a bit more finicky, but it's workable. And I don't have to do hand cam. <laughs> and I don't have to do hand cam. Hmm. Okay, so now... What we're gonna do is we're gonna dry it. And then we're gonna go into the colored pencil and we're going to improve on whatever the hell we have going on here. So... We're gonna dry it so it sets and then we are going to... I wonder if we can wet it lightly so it doesn't spread as much. I lowered the absorbency of the paper, so maybe... Maybe it'll be better? Okay, never mind. We're drying it. We're drying it. No. How the spread if I don't play? Okay, that's good. I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. Time to line in the apple texture. Now we're going to use this gouache to make some texture in the painting to give it a little bit more dimension. Because if you only use wet on wet, it kind of looks... Everything's kind of muddled together. So you want to draw the lines of the apple in a little bit. Just to give it some life. Hence still life. Best part of digital art is you can redo as many times as you want without ruining the painting. Exactly. Even if it's a little more finicky, at least you can make more mistakes. With normal, you can't really make mistakes or else you're kind of... You're kind of screwed. <laughs> you're kind of screwed otherwise. Now we're just going in to put some texture where there needs to be texture. More mistakes is more learning. Yeah, in this case, absolutely. Absolutely. Now we're gonna dry it again. But this time we're gonna add the highlights. So... Ideally, I would have masked where I wanted the plain white parts to be, but I didn't really think of that, so we're gonna go in with gouache. We're gonna go in with gouache. So we're going to dry this. And then we're going to go in with gouache. And I'm going to pick like a... Uh... Nope. 
Wait, where is... We're gonna do no water. Wait, this gouache doesn't act like how gouache is supposed to work. What? This is not how gouache works! So, since you're into... Or ever thought about taking the Japanese stationary rabbit hole? I had Copic, yes. I had Copic in my youth, but nobody really uses that anymore. Which is kind of sad, but... It's true. Wow, that is... That does not work like how real life works. Um, let's see. That kind of does. Yeah, we're gonna go in with colored pencil because the gouache is not working like it's supposed to. <laughs> it's not working like like how gouache is supposed to work in uh in real life just wasn't doing it for me at all every once in a while i look up the at back at the apple and it looks more and more like apple good job Mima. even if i don't understand the pro process it's okay it's okay if you don't understand <laughs> It's okay. Honestly, if I didn't apprentice do that apprentice or I would still be lost as hell. Watercolor is one of those things. You either love it or hate it. I hated it, but then I learned how to do it, and that's actually my favorite paint medium out of all of the other paint mediums. In terms of in terms of um Just... Yeah. <laughs> Fine, just the, the traditional mediums, I guess. Yeah, it's my favorite. I think I would need the mentorship. I need the criticism to bring me the crippling depression to only be lifted out. I get less depression when I have a mentorship than... Than if I am by myself. Because when you're out there self-taught... You have no idea what you're doing that is like wrong. Nobody to tell you. I'd rather somebody be like, hey... You're doing this wrong, and I need you to try this instead. Then, to figure it out all on my own, that's a little bit harder for me to handle, I think. Yeah. Personally, that's me though. I don't know about everyone else. I'm pretty bad at understanding and fixing my mistakes, so receiving help is a blessing. Yeah, guidance, I love being told. I love being critiqued by an expert. I wish I could be critiqued by an expert all the time, but that's not realistic, so... <laughs> but that's not realistic, you know? So, can't wish for that all the time. Pretty much. 
much were the apples gonna take us today? Um... That is... That is how you paint a juicy apple! <laughs> nice as I would like it to be, but... I didn't... I was lazy. I did not paint the water droplets that was on this reference at all. But that's how you would paint an apple on a canvas. Traditionally. Yeah. Mm. I'll paint the other one! You guys want me to sit here for the other one? I only have like 20 minutes. Not even 20. 11 minutes. You think I could do it in 11 minutes? <laughs> you think I could do it in 11 minutes? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll do it on another layer. Okay. <sighs> okay. This one, I need a base color. Let's do a brighter light color. We're gonna do... We're gonna do wet and wet, so I need water first. We're gonna do... A medium amount of water. We're gonna go in and... Once again... Completely color in... With the water, where this apple needs to be. There's the apple, okay. Water... Good. Okay, chill. Now... We're gonna go in again. This is the wet on wet technique. That means we wet the paper first. So that when we put the pigment down, the pigment will spread to where we place it. So... We're gonna use a round brush. And we're gonna go ahead and apply that liberally. With a little more water and a little more size. Yes. We're going to apply that liberally. Maybe using another. Yeah, this is better. And just let it spread around to where it needs to go. And oh geez, it's spreading past where I applied the water already. This is a mistake. Um. <laughs> This was a mistake, but it's okay. <laughs> Spread! <laughs> Come on! Come on! You can do it for me, Apple. You can... You can spread. This watercolor is... It is our war cry now. Spread is our war cry now. A hundred percent. Spread! <laughs> Wait! mistake again. We will not make this mistake again. Have no fear. It was a fluke. We will not make that mistake again. We will 
proceed. <laughs> I'm a pro. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. It's gonna be fine. Trust me. <laughs> Trust. Tactical retreat. Yep, that was what that was. A hundred percent. Yeah, no, no problem. Thank you for coming to the stream, despite it being another mauled stream. Highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Every everything's fine. Everything's fine. This is okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're we're still good. Nothing is wrong. How? How can anything be wrong? We're having a great time. You're having a great time. Working through my art block, drawing apples, not cute anime girls. You can't make any money off of this. If all these apples? Does anybody want to buy my apples? <laughs> you can't eat them. <laughs> so I stopped doing landscapes. The stream has a lot of molding for an art stream, or not not that much molding for a mold stream. Yeah, it's kind of lukewarm. It's kind of a lukewarm art stream. I'm not very proud of this one. Thank you for the super chat, Arpo. Can you make cute anime or apples? We're drawing real apples, my friend. We're drawing real apples. <laughs> Ooh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Watercolor VTuber assets? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Wow, this is ugly. What is happening here? How do I save this? What is happening? Why is it doing this? I'm watching it spread wrong. <laughs> I'm watching it spread completely wrong. Oh god, I was too hasty. Now it's really fucked up. Now it's really fucked up. Oh, hold on. Stop. Spreading wrong. Okay, let's let's let it spread from here. Wrong spread. This is what happens when you have too much water in your watercolor and you don't blot your paper after wetting it. This is what happens. But I can't, like, take a tissue and blot it. Like I do in real life, so it's a little frustrating. Okay, well, let it, let it complete its spread, number one. I remember I used to do a lot of... dot situations. Let's try another technique here. Yeah, it works! <gasps> wow! I used to do a lot of dot techniques. So it would spread nicer. And it seems working. Wow, they even emulated that. How did they get a program to do this? That's kind of cool. Wow. I didn't think this was possible. 
in a, in a program, but they're like literally doing it. Impressive. This is actually pretty good. They managed to even emulate that. Wow. Okay, never mind. I take that back. It's blotchy again down here. Can I fix it? Oh god, they don't they don't spread correctly at all. It's going to take forever. What? What? You have about two minutes to make that look like the buff apple, no pressure. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, man. <laughs> it's not gonna happen! This is a... This is a waiting game. This is a waiting game. This is a way game. Watercolor is like a total way game. Patience is half of it. You can be sitting there watching the water spread for a while, and you're like, wow, I hope that goes to the right place. <laughs> Like, wow, me oh my, I hope that spreads correctly. Oh, wow, we. Ow. Yeah, it's literally watching water dry. Colored water dry. Which is probably why it's not a good one to do on stream. <laughs> Enjoy it. as long as you guys are still enjoying yourselves. I will I will keep I will keep it up. I will keep it up. Bum, 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 bum. Don't spread green. <laughs> we could do pears next time and bananas. I didn't know I could uh, do still lifes on computer now. This is great. This is actually amazing. Let's do still lifes next week. Like a serious still life. Like not me fucking around still life. We'll paint. We'll paint some like nice, nice things. <laughs> Yeah, Mike is cutting off because this program is taking all the power to spread. It's taking all the power to spread. I'm sorry. The power of spread is too strong. Can we paint a bucket? You guys want to paint some shiny? Is that is that what you're asking? We can paint something shiny. It's hard though. It's hard with watercolor to paint something shiny. Oh, you're actually good at still lifes. Wow, we can paint still lifes together. <laughs> mm, we're still streaming for a little bit. Wait, what's this about a bucket? Is this a trick? It's a trick. Do you guys have something sussy? Is there some sussy lore behind this so? Iris stream. The mic is cutting out because this is too powerful. <laughs> oh, Sam. 
Stanley Parable. I still never played that game. Don't know what it's about. Okay, guys. I think... I think we are going to just call this... Uh, a day today. This apple is gonna take forever. We're just gonna save it. Save as pain apple. Awe of my talent. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am not in awe of my talent today. I'm quite disappointed. But as long as you guys... Enjoyed it. <laughs> the game is about a bucket. Really, really, really. I did good. Thank you. I'm sorry for today, guys. This was not one of my proudest streams, but... <sighs> if you guys enjoyed it, that's all that matters. Mm. You loved it. You loved it. <laughs> the first apple looks great because it's finished. <laughs> the second apple is still in the middle. <laughs> It's still in the middle of spreading. <laughs> it's still in the middle of doing. It's still. It's still half baked. It's still half baked. Can I touch my bucket together? No, no. <laughs> the first apple is RTX on. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you, guys, so much. I will be on Twitch in less than an hour. I'm just gonna go. Take a break and forget, forget the spread and the, the terrible dresser drawings I did today and recenter myself because I'm kind of happy with this apple, with this new program. So if you guys are interested in following along with Rob Ross painting uh, in the upcoming weeks, I would recommend you buy this program for $10. We can follow each other. We can, we can have a Bob Ross session, but it's going to be Sheena Ross. You know, <laughs> we can do oil painting. I've never done oil painting before, so I'll do some research. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon, okay? Atsushina, Atsunipnap.